brain is mostly composed of lipids, but a lot of people don't look at it. So that's why I also thought it was an interesting moment to put more attention to the, the role of lipids in general, uh, but also maybe whether we can use them as a potential biomarker or maybe even, even uh, result in treatment of modalities for MS. Um, what we do in this session is just to, to get a little bit more a glimpse of what, what is happening in the lipid world uh, inside the brain um, and whether we can translate this in, into more uh, applicable applica applications in the future. So the lipid world is quite broad and uh, what we do is we look at the bioactive lipid mediators. They're uh, composed of uh, derived from polyunsaturated fatty acids like omega-3. I think we all know that it's good to have omega-3 but now we also know why it's good because they are converted in the, into the bioactive lipid mediates that actually are involved in the regulation of immune responses. Uh, so we try to profile this in patients, um, not only uh, in, in like a relapsing or mythic or something, but basically in all stages of the disease, uh, whether we can use them as biomarkers for, uh, for, for example, treatment efficacy or uh, disease type conversion into, into, uh, into another phase of the disease. Uh, and secondly, so it's not only biomarker work, it's also trying to, we find changes in patients, so there seems to be something wrong in this, this resolution machinery, and we're trying to restore that also in patients. And we have some promising uh, data and animal models that if you, if you supplement them with the lipids that are decreased in patients, you have protective, uh, you're protective from clinical signs. So I think in general, it's, it's, it's like a two-fold approach, so not only biomarkers, but also treatment modalities uh, for MS.